Hi. Now, in an earlier video, I showed you how we could work out the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix A. It was quite an involved process. It required that we find the minors of each element of matrix A. We also then had to go on, find the cofactor of A and transpose it and multiply that by 1 over the determinant of A. And that gave us then the inverse of A, this matrix here. But what I want to show you in this video is a quicker way, if your examining board allows you to use a calculator. What I've got here is a Casio class whiz calculator, although you might find you've got a similar function on any other scientific calculator. So for this one, what we need to do is choose the menu here and make sure that we go to the matrix menu, which on this calculator is number four. So if we select four, it takes us into that menu. And we've got the choice of four matrices that we can use, A, B, C, or D. Well, I'm going to choose matrix A, which is option one. So we just press one there, and it's asking us for the number of rows. And for this matrix, we've got three rows, so put three in. Number of columns next is one, two, three, so we put in the three columns, and it presents us with the matrix A. Now what I'm doing now could have been done for a two by two matrix. We would have just entered two rows and two columns. So anyway, we've got this matrix A, and now we need to fill its elements with the ones that we've got here. So the first element then is two. So we just enter two and press equals and the cursor moves across the row. So the next element will be four. So we can just press in four and then equals. And now the next element is minus five or negative five. And you can use either the minus sign here or the negative sign there. So I'm going to use this minus, so we've got minus then and 5. OK, press equals, and we move on to the second row. And if we keep putting our values in, 5 equals, then the negative 1, and then the 3, and then bottom row we've got 1, and then minus 2, and then the 4. So we've now entered all the elements into the matrix. So to work out the inverse matrix, what we do is we select the option button here. And now we've got to work out the inverse. And we go to option three, the matrix calculations. So if I just enter three there, it takes us to this screen. And I need to press option again. And I'm going to select matrix A here, option three again to do some calculations on. So I want to find the inverse of A and I select this button here. By pressing that, it puts the minus one up on the top here and then press equals and we get the inverse matrix. And you'll notice that it either gives us a, it as a decimal or we get the exact fraction. So for that first element, minus 2 nineteenths, which is what we would get if we multiplied the minus 2 with that 1 nineteenth. Moving the cursor across gives us the next element as a decimal or fraction. It's exactly 6 nineteenths, 6 nineteenths, and so on. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea then on how to do the inverse of a matrix using the Casio class whiz calculator. So thanks for watching and hopefully if you need any other further support, I'll see you in another video.